Hey folks, welcome back. Today we are comparing the Geisley Airborne with the Air Precision Breach. This is the small handle one, so it is the closest equivalent to the Airborne in size. You can see that they are roughly the same size. Now, I have been using the Airborne for quite a while. It is my default charging handle choice if I'm not running a big optic and I want a longer lever over here. Overall construction, very good. Uh, one of the things that I noted when I was looking through, the roll pins are just as beefy as the Geisley's. Are they made the same? I don't know. Um, that is not the kind of thing they tell you. This one, you have a pivot, a pivot, and pulling this back is not directly connected to this. So pulling that hook, not directly connected. It's a multi-segment process. So you get a little more compound leverage. On this one, they're directly connected. That hook is part of that lever, okay? That is a fundamental difference. Whether it matters or not, I don't know. Uh, it may affect something I'm going to show you in a little bit. But both of them, when they come back, there's physical bracing, keeping it from, you're not pulling on the roll pin directly if you over pull. You know, if you really are, are yanking on it, your roll pins are probably not gonna break. They're not taking the bulk of the load. This guy has had, I don't know, a hundred swipes now. Uh, I don't know how many my friend did before he lent it to me. I know he said he was, you know, he had an opinion, which I assume means he's messed with it, uh, but it did look spotless, so I don't know how much he did with it. Uh, so there's a little bit of wear. I don't know if you can even see that. Mostly down here, tiny bit of finish wear, but the rest of it looks perfect. But, I mean, not a lot of use yet, right? Um, the bearing surface up here, much bigger. Let me put these up next to each other. There we go. You can see how big that bearing surface is. Easily double. Easily. Compared to a BCM slash Veltor, eight times. I mean, it's massive comparatively. I like that. I think that one of the problems with charging handles is that they're supposed to have a gap here, right? This is keeping it from wedging too much. And it takes a lot of the pressure. Um, as evidenced by the fact that it's worn down, right? You know, the, the finish is gone on that spot. Well, bigger pad, more bearing surface, less surface pressure, right? There, there's the, the pressure is spread out over a larger area. Uh, the tabs seem normal, uh, no, no real issue on those. They're pretty crisp. I, I wish they had eased those a little bit. Uh, if I compare them to the Geisley, though, not significantly different. The Geisley feels like it was that sharp <laughs> and has just been worn down a little bit from use. And you can see that well, you probably can't see, but eh, maybe there. You can see that it's a little shiny on that corner, that edge. Yeah, it, it's worn off the finish right there. So now. Overall, I was pretty impressed. Very smooth. When you operate this, and I'll, I'll throw in some video that I did for the short, very smooth. It really, it glides well. It has a good feel to it. Compared, honestly, I think it was a better feel than this for, for the smoothness. And I put that down to the bearing surface. I put that down to this right here. And it's a stiff charging handle. It, it doesn't flex a whole lot. Um, I think it, it moves well in the gun. I didn't have any problem pulling, you know, from one side or the other side. No issues. Now, I've not done a shitload of reps with it. I have not even taken this to the range and pounded on it. Um, this was all essentially dry fire drills. Um, not mine. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to go run this in my suppressed rifle and hand it back to him all, you know, carboned up, Okay. But that isn't really what I was testing. I've never had a charging handle factor in when does the gun shoot? That's not relevant. 
how does it cycle if you move the charging handle back and forth, right? My only complaint with this is when you pull this back and you let it down, like you say you did a press check on your rifle, it doesn't, it doesn't close properly. I don't know if the hook is wrong uh, or what. I tried it on several uppers, including an Aero Precision. I, I tried it on one of my Aero M4E1 uppers. I tried it on a BCM upper. I tried it on a generic forged upper. If you just let it go, you know, if you, if you pull it back and let it go, no problem. That is the kind of thing, however, that I think will break in. I think that that is, that it's just a little snug. Honestly, I really think that that is going to be a minor break-in kind of thing. I, even without firing it, I bet you if I did it another couple hundred times. So let's get to the last part. And that is, which one would I buy? And I think the answer is, if I was buying another charging handle, I would buy one of these. This is, this is $59, $60, I think. Um, this is 100 and change. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that this is worth every penny. I think that this is worth every penny. But if I can spend fewer pennies and get the same job done, why would I spend twice as much money? And I'm not going to replace my Geisleys. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Geisleys. In fact, I'm not even saying that the Geisleys are better. I think that they are better in certain ways. And that the Airborne is as good in other ways and good enough in the ways that matter. And I think that's key. I think that, like I've been talking about with priorities, you need to look at your priorities and go, is the product good enough to accomplish the job and get it done? And do I need to spend more money on it? Is there, am I getting value for money if I spend more? And I think the answer is in this case, yes, but this will get the job done. This will absolutely get the job done. So if you don't want to spend more money, if you don't want the Geisley, you just need something that'll work, go with this. Uh, all the things that I look for in a charging handle, the narrow profile, the ambidexterity, the ability to do this, 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 this. Uh, it doesn't bind up. It operates smoothly. Take care. Have fun. Stay safe, folks.